YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. Wanted to do a review on a little handy dandy tool I picked up for anyone working out in the field. Um, from if I haven't said it enough before in some of my videos, the actual occupation I have is a land surveyor. And part of land surveying is using this a lot. Chopping property lines out. When we're out in the woods, something's in your way. You got to clear some brush out. So you use your machete a lot. This isn't one of my work ones. This is one I had accidentally cracked off part of it, hitting into a uh, into a piece of Osage orange, and it literally broke it right at the handle. So moved it up, put some new bolts in, and getting a handle put on there. But we're going to use it for reference for this. So what I'm going to show you is I picked up, I used to have a lot smaller, just quick, these little sharpeners. I had a small one. It doesn't put the correct angle on it. <clears throat> and to anybody that's had to use a machete, you get it too sharp, it's not a good thing actually because it dulls out super fast, especially if you're hidden into a lot of Northeast Ohio area is hardwoods and yeah, it's, it's no bueno. The other thing I use it for sometimes is my hatchet. Most of the time I keep it I keep it sharp with a file. But let's get into this. All right, so first off, this is a Smith's axe and machete sharpener. When I saw that, I was like, okay, normally they're not that specific about it. It's I already had it opened up, I've used it, and that's why I wanted to use it before I did a review on it. It's got a super beefy protective handle on it. Love it. Not that, you know, not that you're being sloppy willy-nilly when you're sharpening these, but in case you were to slip, it's protecting like your whole fist. That's a good thing. Um, comes with, on the back of the handle, if you push this in, there's even a little wire wire brush cleaning tool, especially like a machete like this. You got some dirt on it or stuff. A lot of times at work, like I throw it in my gear bag, it gets dirt on it from the shovel. Super awesome to have that. So that was a plus. That just goes back in there, tuck the actual wire brushes in there, and that pushes right back in. All right, so a lot of like your kitchen knives, hunting knives, things like that, they all have pretty sharp angles on them for your blade. Most of your machetes and like I said, your hatchets, they have a pretty stout angle on them. I believe it's about 30 degrees, 30 to 35 degrees on these. Hence why this thing is sp so specific as to be in the ax and machete sharpener. What we're gonna end up doing, we'll go over to the vise real quick is just, but to demonstrate out here is we're gonna lock this in and you're gonna take this and let me back up so you can see it. And it's gonna, you're gonna place it down on the blade in the vise and you're just gonna end up going along it like this. Now, that being said, that's how they tell you to do it. When I'm using this, like I said, doing land surveying out in the field, a lot of times what I end up doing is taking the blade and sinking it into the, a tree so that I have it, so it's not moving around on me. I just kind of sink it in. And then I'm basically holding this on my body. I kind of hold it at where it's in an area where it pretty much makes it darn near impossible to end up getting any part of my body along that blade. And I'm just, you don't gotta put, especially when these things are brand new, you're not putting a ton of pressure on this. You're not trying to like, hit this thing like you're on a grinding stone or that. This is just to freshen it up, give it a nice sharp blade and go from there. If it's that dull, you're gonna wanna get a grinding stone and you're not doing that out in the woods. So, all right, so went ahead, got the machete clamped in the vise here. Um, this, I had run on a sharpener already. I haven't, like I said, I haven't fixed this, like put this handle officially 100% on there yet. But just for demonstration, so you'll get this clamped in. This is, like I said, this is if you're in a shop and you're putting it in a vise and all that. But you're going to take this. You can see 
the little grinding stones in there. It's actually like carbide. And you're going to end up putting it, positioning it over the blade. Right now I got this in the way, but you're going to go up as far as you can. And you're just going to pull on a nice even stroke, dragging that back. I'm sure everyone's loving that sound. Yeah, this thing's making some great shaving. All right, just wanted to get you guys in here and see all the shavings. You can see it's got a nice clean line. Got a little chip in the blade right there. But I can already tell you, this thing is nice, nice and sharp. All right, in case anybody's wondering too, pretty much with the axe hatchet, it's going to be the same thing. You know, you're going to take this and just be sliding down it like that. On this, I got so much curvature on that, the way it kind of comes back to you, you might actually have to turn it and be dragging it across it like that. Um, definitely highly recommend. I wear these at work a lot of times, you know, just to protect your hands. Certain orange box store, these Gorilla Grip gloves, I'm sure they probably sell them somewhere else too. These things are fantastic. For the price tag too, I burn through them at work, you know, wears them out. You got like 20 pairs of them for, it's like 20 bucks. Awesome. But that's another story. But yes, once again, this Smith's Axe and Machete Sharpener, same orange box store. Um, I'm sure you can find it online. Also, this is what the box looks like. This was in it. <laughs> but it was like 10 bucks. And I brought it home from work. I had purchased it with my own cash. Highly recommend it. Um, yes, you can carry a flat file, but you need to be good at putting the angle on it. This makes it simple, straightforward, super easy breezy. All right, YouTube, it's been awesome as always. Uh, just wanted to drop that on this. Um, lots of big things been going on here and can't wait to hopefully get some of that stuff shared here with you on YouTube. But once again, as always... You guys take care. It's been awesome.